Hi everyone, uh, this is my continuing video on CESA. My video, as I have been telling initially, is based on the 27th edition of the CESA exam series. So most of it, what you see in the market, it contains the 26th version, but my is an updated version, which is the 27th version. Please, please do not forget to like the video if you really like it. Tell it to your friends and do subscribe to it so that you would be notified as and when I keep posting new videos on this. My series has been going on and every other day I am actually posting a new video to take this uh, section ahead. So it would be easier for you to connect with my videos, my explanations as you subscribe to it. So today we will start off now and we will start off with the automatic tailor machine. So again, I don't think I need to explain you what an ATM is. Most of us are conversant using an ATM. So I'm directly jumping into the review points, which from an IAS auditor perspective, what he or she should be looking for. So possibly the physical security aspects so that it prevents the malware entry. Customer identification and confidentiality needs to be maintained. So all the cards, the data on the cards, so they didn't be captured somewhere. File maintenance and retention to trace the transactions. Audit trails need to be captured from the exception reports. Proper reconciliation of the ATM transactions and review of the encryption which is present. Now, electronic finance. What exactly is electronic finance? So electronic finance is what we see now in the financial services industry. So it's an integral part of it because that is how the financial services industry works. Now this has resulted in lower cost, increased reach, which is increased breadth, wide access, time decoupled, you can access it at any time, location decoupled, you can be anywhere, any location. Now again, it provides personalization of information and services, and this must be used within the context of the privacy laws. So this could be the things what the auditor from an IS perspective he or she should be looking for in an electronic finance. Integrated manufacturing systems. So now how, you know, how the manufacturing is happening is it starts uh, with the BOM, bill of materials, then it goes up to MRP, then you would have the customer relationship management, the SCM systems, all getting integrated. You would have proper security mechanisms in place. You would have the CAT systems in place. So in such an integrated manufacturing setup, the IS auditor needs to be very, very careful on seeing what things and what aspects of data which actually is flowing from one system to the other. It will depend upon the scale of integration, the complexity of integration, you would have a SAP system somewhere. You would have possibly an SFDC somewhere. You could have a middleware somewhere. And uh, on a approval perspective for an organization such projects can only be undertaken with top management approvals ivr which again you know we are all aware of which uh, is uh, the interactive voice uh, systems which we have so ivr basically is pre-recorded and it can control most of the functions so as an IS auditor, when I am auditing an IVR setup, what am I actually going to look for? So I am actually going to look for that access to unauthorized individuals is prevented. Because in case I am able to proliferate inside the system of an IVR, I might be able to control entire system and which can be throwing out erroneous results. So I should be as an auditor be very um, auditive to find out that yes unauthorized individuals access to those systems are prevented we push on to purchase accounting systems so what basically is a purchase accounting system 
we walk into a retail store we have a retail store transaction what happens out there sales happens as we purchase something and it is processed in the sales accounting system it is also processed in the accounts receivable system because it's an input as an earning and again it might give rise to purchases within the organization within the retail store the store uh, stock could get depleted and it might require that yes stocks get replenished so uh, uh, purchases might need to be done at the store level so basically accounting functions have three basic functions one is accounts payable processing goods receipt processing and order processing so with this we come to an end for this session and what i have done as i have told on the starting of the session itself when i was doing the introductory session i have broken this domain 1 of the 27th edition of cisa into small small snippets of 5 to 6 minutes each so that your attention span stays and eventually when you prepare for the exam you just pick up those modules which you feel will require uh access back and and understanding back so that way it becomes you know easier for you to prepare for the exam thank you do watch out for my next video tomorrow